Yeah, 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 yeah. Go to show and give us an offer, yeah. man. No, that's cool. That's cool. I'm going to get off in a second. But uh, what I was saying was, look, little man on here, right? If little man honest, motherfuckers were saying I was ducking or this, that, and the third. You got to realize, I never had a problem with leak. My problem wasn't with leak. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Right. My problem with the nigga shoddy. Mm. And my problem, that that's how the whole thing happened with me and them. My problem was never what leak. My problem was with this nigga shoddy and the nut shit I knew he could bring around. And because I loved everybody that I was standing with, I was fighting that shit. Like, don't bring this nigga around, man. Mm. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So you knew him problem. before. You, you, you knew him before. He from my neighborhood. We and him from the same neighborhood. Okay? Mm. The last time when motherfuckers were talking about I was ducking this, that, and the third. Because this week the internet be saying, I'm definitely going to duck a bullet or duck a body mm. or duck a jail. So I'm going to duck. I'm definitely going to duck that. But the last time. I really, I seen Leak face to face. I pulled right past little man. He was sitting on the porch. Little man was sitting on the porch. I head nod because I ain't got no problem with little man. And I didn't have no problem with Leak. I pulled right past them. And I jumped out. And because Shoddy was right there. Mm. And I shook Leak's hand. This when all this shit going on. Mm. All this shit going on. Mm. I shook Leak's hand. And he like, what's up, bro? I'm like, ain't shit. And I looked at Shadi and said, what's up? And ain't nothing shady. All right. You good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Got in the car. I pulled off. Mm. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Wow. And <clears throat> wow. And that's the last time? And all this shit. That's the last time you had, you ran into a uh, leak. Yeah, face to face. It's the last time I ran in the league face to face. I pulled up on 15th and Eric and shit. I went up there on purpose because somebody else had road pass and said that nigga shot up there right now. Mind you, I ain't got no problem with Leak, bro. Mm. Mm. Whatever differences me and Leak got in, in my head, that's just shit between me and Leak. Mm. Mm. At the time, I'm still looking like this is my brothers and this fucking corny ass nigga going to come over here and fuck everything up. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So, niggas know, bro. Niggas that know me know. Niggas that don't know me don't matter. Mm. Mm. Niggas that know me know. Niggas that don't know me don't matter, bro. I think where I fucked up at was trying to convince the whole fucking world that I was that there were that they was crazy, and you can't do that. I go ahead and live with your lies, bro. I'm at that point in my life now. Go ahead and live with your lies. Mm. Go ahead. You can live with your lies. Go ahead. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So it is what it is. But just to get off that and get back to where I was going, all this shit coming from, not from my block, but from one nigga from my block, bro. Mm. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Rick G's here. Tap Rick G's in. He'll tell you about the hotel meeting. Ask him specifically what happened, what the money I was going to put up, who I was going to do it for, and who fucked it up. And then you will understand. Rick G's here. Tap Rick G's in. He willing to come in and talk about it with with, with G? Yeah. Where you at? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he will. Mm. Mm. Yo, uh, let's try to LP. Uh, right, let's try to tap. We're gonna try to tap him in. Shades, don't go nowhere. Shades. All right. All right. This is the Philly First Forty Eight, y'all. Exclusive, only on the First Forty Eight. Let's try to get Rick Rick G's on right now. To get to the bottom of this shit. We got the boy LP in the building. What's going on, Rick G? What's up, man? Yo, what's up, bro? Oh, man, can't call it, man. You was tuned into the uh, interview with Shady Black? I just tuned in like two minutes ago. Oh, man, he was, he was, he was, he was confirming a meeting that y'all had, y'all had together in the hotel and shit like that. You with the narrow? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it was a it was a minute ago, but I was called down there because I got a print shop. Okay. So I guess uh, Shady was gonna put up some money for De Niro to uh, to run with the clothes. Mm hmm. Well, I, and it was like it was supposed to be between ten thousand or more. I forget the exact number. I'm mm. sure you probably said the number, but it was some bread. So you said it was fifty. 
it was it was something crazy. He he I mean the money was there. Mm. You know what I'm but I at the time I think that the reason I said ten thousand, I think the blank shirts was coming to ten thousand. Right. You know, I got a whole nother price for me to print it. Right. You know and so I think all the blanks was coming to like ten. So that's probably why ten was in my head. Right, right, right. Then right, the art, right. I think the main little argument, you know what I mean, started. I think De Niro wanted something else. I ain't gonna say what he wanted. I don't no, know. Shady, you know what I mean? Shady, Shady, Shady spoke blankly, like you know what I mean? Right. Like, he 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 spoke. I, he probably missed it, but he was definitely said that Nero wanted to, he wanted he wanted to see what's up with some. He wanted a brick. Like, you know right, 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 right. Yeah. So the whole, you know what I mean? I guess he, you know, he seen what was going on, so that's what he wanted. Then I mean, how how I got the story was. It wasn't, you know what I mean? It wasn't nothing about no work or none of that. You know what I mean? Mm. I, I was called down there for the, for that specific reason, so he can run with that. You know what I mean? Right. So that shit went left. Mm. I mean, that went left. Just, I was down there. I ain't leave with nothing. I ain't get no job. You know what I'm saying? I ain't print right. no shirts. My whole order was fucked up, yeah? <laughs> how you felt? So, so. Well, how you felt How you felt about that, the whole situation? How you felt, I felt like, on some, like, we keep it all we G about, I, you know what I mean? I mean, they. I mean, they got time in, man. They, that's like his little brother. So you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. My, I, I mean, money make motherfuckers. You know what I mean. Had different reactions, man. Like that. That shit get goofy. Mm. You know, what I mean? a motherfucker tell you they want this, and then they see how you obtained it. Now they want that. Right. You know right. what I'm saying. So it's like you can't keep up with all that shit. You know what I'm saying. It's like I'm giving you the help you asked me for. Mm. Mm. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying. So if I say Johnny, you know what I mean. Let me get a. Let me get on here and freestyle. Right. And, and then right. now, all right, well, let me host you, John. Johnny, like, you can't keep up with that. Like, like you, got, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just did what you asked me to do. Right. You know I mean? no, so now you're you going to something else. That's real. But, you know what I mean? They got they got time in, bro. They got, you know I mean, I don't mm -hmm. know if the relationship could ever be, could ever be patched, but. Right. Yeah. If you want to skip that. That was a call trying to come through. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I can't even Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 So, well, yeah, yeah. We, we, we just trying, we, we trying to seal things up, too. Like, you know what I mean? We ain't trying to stir no drama or none of that, whatever the case may be. No doubt. We trying to really... De Niro, I mean, you know, De Niro still come through my shop, you know what I'm saying, and support my shop. I send motherfuckers to his stores. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Shady, that's, that, I mean, that that's folks. Right. You know what I mean? So right. definitely, we know. Right. I mean, I ain't trying to stir no pot and have them go at it. You know what I mean, sure. want to see that for sure. No, you know what I mean? No, that's uh, right. I appreciate you for you tapping in with us, man. What you got going on, though, man? I see you. I see you. I'm right, right now, I'm, at, I'm at my gig, man. I'm at my night job, man. But you know, oh, right. I got you know, right. man, check me out. Busy stage screen print. You ever need some print? You know what I mean? First right. 40. The first 48 shirts or whatever. That's what we you working what on. Buy, buy bullshit me. Young Bob bullshit me. So I'm at the probably come out there too, man. <laughs> hey, to, hey, Bob, chill out, man. You know what I mean? I got it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate up, you, man. We, I got you. All right, man. I'm going to get with you, man. I appreciate your time, though, for sure. Yeah? Oh, you, you, you got right, bars? Bro. You got bars? I, I ain't got no bars right now, man. Oh, I tap man. in on Friday, man. Oh, all right. All right. Well, tap in with us on Friday. Free I'm going to tap in on Friday. Come get that belt, man. I got you. All right. All right, bro. Why y'all talking shit? Regan Ball and uh and and Van, stop talking shit, yo. For real, yo. We got all night tonight, y'all. We gonna we gonna get to we we gonna get to we got yo. Listen, somebody hit Fat G's up and tell them to come on, man. I'm trying to get Fat G. Tell Fat G's to come on, y'all. Somebody at Fat G's right now. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say this. This ain't no bash Nero joint. If you notice, nobody get on here. Nobody not bash Nero because Nero, bro, he he did a lot of shit for himself. That's how he made it. Mm -hmm. He wanted his own shit. He grinded shit up from the muscle. He got two stores. He doing his shit. He for from what I understand, he is successful. I wish him the best. You feel what I'm saying? For sure. What's up, G? Uh, I wish him the best. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So like, it ain't for me. This ain't no bad scenario. I'm just really speaking the reality. And so when he goes speaking out of turn, Elite Marston, you gotta understand. For real, for real. If you' supposed to be my brother, ain't no talking to Marston. Mm. Cause you, 
you and Moss, you and Moss not cool. He don't know fucking Moss and them like that. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So you probably little bro. So he go speaking out of turn to Moss and them. If I find out, if I feel as though I find out something unsavory about you, I'm not gonna go speak to the ops. I'm gonna come to you, bro. Mm. Right. And I'm gonna say, yo, what's, what's up with this? Mm. You know what I mean? What's up with this? Yeah, Rican boy, I ain't talking. I ain't talking down on Nero, and I ain't. Talking no, we was telling the story, y'all. We telling yeah. the story. We telling the story. I ain't yeah, talking just... about, but but understand this too, though, Rican boy. Understand this too. You never really dealt with me in a close capacity to know what I had or what I didn't have. You don't know my whole life story for real, for real. So when I say when I say I got this shit from the mud, my nigga, I got this shit from the mud, and I ain't never do no hate on nobody, and I ain't never do no backdoor shit, and I ain't never do no coward shit. You understand what I'm saying? So at the time, the time Nero never even had the story. He never even had none of that, my nigga. I had my own stories, and I was trying to give it to somebody who I felt as though was my little bro because the, the shit he doing now. You know, no, I'm telling you, I heard what you said about the shit he doing now. I knew he had the potential to do that. And I was trying to endorse that. He just didn't see that I seen that. Mm. So mm. the fallout for me and him didn't even come, didn't even come from him not wanting the store. The fallout came from him being disrespectful. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? The fallout came from him disrespectful. So. You know, far as like his grind or anything like that, I can't take nothing from that little nigga because I don't feel as though he ever needed me. That's mm -hmm. real shit. Mm -hmm. He one nigga that I feel as though I don't, I don't feel as though he ever needed me. I can't get on here and say Nero needed me to do this or Nero needed me to do that. But what Nero do do is he discredit me a lot. Mm -hmm. He discredit me a lot. Every time he get a chance, he discredit. I remember my little cousin put up a post with this rap shit, right? And she was like, the GOAT. That's when she put up a post of me rapping, and underneath she put the goat, and Nero came right underneath it and said, uh, he came right underneath it and said, he definitely not the goat. <laughs> Dang. I seen that shit, and I text my little cousin, I said, take that shit down, but don't even get niggas like him a platform to speak on me. You understand what I'm saying? So it was like, this type of shit, bro. And it's sad that we got to address this type of shit on the internet, but this this is the type of shit that goes on for real, for real. They're, they throw rocks and hide their hands. You feel what I'm saying? They throw rocks and hide their hands. If you really don't, if you really just focus on you, the nigga focus on you. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Now, I mean, Nero, Nero ain't, his little brother ain't tell, Nero got a little brother, Nero little cousin to him. Hey. Hey. And they ain't got nothing to do with Nero because Nero ain't tell. Mm. Now, man, I don't know who Squad he is. I don't know. I don't, if Nero got a little brother, it's from his dad's side. But uh, as far as I know, Nero ain't never do no telling. I ain't never see him in no unsavory situations. We ain't talking about that. We, we talking about his facts. So, that's just what it is, bro. Uh, motherfucker say to me, you know, well, damn, where you and Nero stand at? We don't really stand nowhere because they made it crystal clear as to where they stand at with me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I made it so that where's though I call my mom and tell my mom, mom, if I gotta lay on my back before you lay on your back, make sure them niggas don't come in my funeral. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If I gotta lay on my back before you lay on your back, you make sure them niggas don't come in my funeral. And my real friends that I do got, I told them, you make sure them niggas don't come in my funeral. Dang. You understand what I'm saying? Dang. I refuse to have a motherfucking nigga that really didn't like me or really didn't love me come see me on my back. And that shit happens. You know what I'm that type shit. of niggas take pictures of you while you in the coffin and shit like that. I mean, this shit real out here, bro. And I got another homie, him and my, my man Banger. You know, and I'm gonna say my man, and I'm not gonna call him my cousin because he's corrected people over the years. You no, know, Shady ain't my cousin. That's my man. Who does that? But anyway. Uh, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Anyone, anyway, uh, my man Banger had a problem with me because of how I chose to spend my money. Mind you, I, I, it's a lot of shit that I just don't say. Banger done fucking stole from me. You feel what I'm saying? Dang. He done fucking stole from me. I never mentioned it. He done did dumb ass sucker shit. And at the time where I was getting money, he... He wasn't even in his right mind, bro. Mm. 
You feel what I'm saying? Cuz mm. wasn't even in his right mind. Dang. So I never, it, it was crazy. I don't give a fuck who screen recording because I could stand on everything I say without getting loud, without arguing these facts, man. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Them niggas don't even want to get on the phone. Mm. They don't want to get on the phone. They don't want to talk to Shady. You feel what I'm saying? They go behind each other's backs and they talk about each other. And now all that, that's wrong. I respect, like, let me tell you why I respect that in my hood. I respect, like, 18th in York. I respect 17th in York. I respect Dolphin Street. I respect Gratz and Dolphin. I respect Chadwick and Dolphin. I respect 17th in Susquehanna. I respect 20th in Susquehanna. I respect Gratz in Susquehanna. I respect 17th in Cumberland. I respect 18th in Cumberland. I respect fucking Colorado and Cumberland, but Van Cumberland, 19th and Cumberland. I respect Old Powell Street. I don't respect my block, bro. Damn, that's hard. Cause they the only, they the only, they the only, they the only block. It's the only block in my hood that don't stick together. I respect Hundred and Street, Chadwick and Hundred. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And all these, all these blocks that I just named, bro. If I go to them blocks, they know me, bro. They love me, bro. Mm -hmm. They love me, bro. I could have went down there with any, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I could have went down any of these blocks. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? The, look at this nigga Nero. Nobody never said nothing bad about him one time. <laughs> Nobody never said nothing bad about him one time. But you could tap him in if you want, man. Give him what, give him the attention he deserves, man. So what do you say? Nobody. Yeah, no. He said it sound like a thirty five year old cry baby, but just to give you the, just to, but he wouldn't say that to me in my face because I smacked the shit out of him, real shit. He knew that, bro. No drama shit, y'all. We just we just telling the story, y'all. Yeah, all. but he knew that. We definitely he that. just telling the story. I can tap him in. You feel so what I'm tell his side though. Like definitely, we definitely just telling the story yeah. though. I don't, you know. Yeah, but I respect all these. He other definitely blocks. smoked good. He definitely smoked good on him. He smoked. But he smoked no, good let, on him, let him go, bro. Let him go. Let him go, bro. Let him go, bro. Let him go, bro. Let him go, bro. Let him go. Cause this what this what happens. Niggas hit him up. Niggas hit him up. This nigga talking about somebody lost their fucking mind. This bull man. <laughs> I let that go. But anyway, I still ain't got nothing bad to say about him. I spoke on what he just said, talking to me like that, of what I would do. What he would do after that, it's neither here nor there. You feel what I'm saying? Damn. But this what happens. This what happens. Somebody hit him, yo, Nero, Shady talking bad about you. And before, before niggas can even come get a, a clear picture of what's going on, that's when they come sideways. That's why I just let niggas be, bro. That's why I let niggas be, because niggas really got issues with me, for real, for real. Yeah, he definitely. Niggas definitely ain't, not one person, ain't not one person in this live going to say I was talking bad about Nero. No, you don't niggas, even know what's niggas, going on. Niggas in here, niggas definitely in here carrying it like that 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 tuned in ain't from the not, beginning. Ain't, man, ain't not one nigga. Nigga, I can speak on I can speak on what I want to speak on there, bro. I ain't gonna argue with you about it. I can speak on what I want to speak on because it's my mouth and it's my story. You feel what I'm saying? Fuck you talking about. I can speak on what I want to speak on, nigga. Fuck you talking about. But uh and that's a fact. And for real, for real, I can make sure you don't even get a platform to talk, nigga. Fuck it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Chill, we ain't. Fuck is you talking about? Nobody, we don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? But nonetheless, though, back to what I was saying, I respect I respect other places because, like, you don't see the in-house fighting that goes on. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't see that. You don't, you don't see the in-house fighting that goes on. If niggas fighting in house, you won't see that shit. And that's what always fucked me up. It always fuck. I was like oblivious to so much shit from being away from my block for that long. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. I was like oblivious to so much shit. So when I came home, like I was running late, bro. Mm. You feel what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. Hello, nigga. I'm going to let him go. You see how you see where he at with the day. Five. You sure, know, man. It's a fact. But shout out to De Niro. Make sure y'all go follow uh, De Niro 2K, man. Make sure y'all go support his black business. And I ain't saying this uh, patronizing him or anything like that. Make sure y'all go follow his situation and make sure, because he do got the motherfucking phones in. My mom go to his store. My family uh, supports his store. 
the neighborhood supports the store, make sure y'all go support his joint, man. You know what I mean? So what motherfuckers, what motherfuckers, what motherfuckers do right is they only want to, they only want to see shit they way. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Talk. They only, they, they, they only want to see shit they way. You get what I'm saying? And it's like they could tell you, they could tell me something, but then when I go sit back and try to tell them something, it's like because they so gung ho in their position. They never gonna see what you're saying. Mm. Mm. It, just, it just is what it is, man. I don't hate Nero. I ain't got no hate for Nero. Nero got hate for me. You feel know what I'm saying? Nero definitely got hate for me. He got a whole different energy for me. But you mm. know, a, a fact is a fact, man. Nero you from your block, though. You from your, huh? I said you from your block and shit like that. Yeah, right? yeah, we mm. from the same block. But like I told you, I didn't raise Nero. So I can't sit here and say I raised him. I told you that. I told you. I told you that. I didn't mm -hmm. raise him. I was locked up the whole time. Right. You know what I'm saying? He right. grew up under that banner. Like, damn, I'm from Shady Block too. We from the same block. I didn't raise. I didn't raise Nero. You feel right. me? Right. So. That, but you definitely was yeah. telling your story and shit. It wasn't like you just got getting on. Bro, back. I ain't even you know explaining to myself. I ain't even explaining. I ain't explaining to myself. Well, bro. go ahead. Go ahead. Finish. Finish. Go. Finish. Yeah, I ain't explaining to myself. Where, where we was at? I forgot, man. That shit. Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. man. I gotta give me something to eat, bro. Uh oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. We gave him everything they need. Call me. Hit me up, All man. Right. We got I got I got some shit I wanna talk to you about anyway. Hey, shout out to Frankie with the grippers, man. That's my bro Rilla. You feel what I'm saying? It's bro Rilla my soon. You know what I mean? Man, just know this. Everybody love me except my block <laughs> and them niggas. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. You know what I mean? Except my block and, and, and them other niggas. Everybody, mm. bro. I don't get hated nowhere. Bro. bro, niggas see him. See me in my travels, whether it's the airport, whether it's the West Coast, the East Coast, and they show me love, bro. And that the energy I gave out over this internet, even me saying I would have slapped the shit out of Nero, I'm fucking lying. I wouldn't have slapped the shit out of him. He playing with me right now, and that's how I would have felt. I would have felt like slapping the shit out of him. But I wouldn't have slapped the shit out of him, not because I'm scared of him or this, that, and the third, because I just wouldn't look at De Niro and slap him, and that's real shit. I wouldn't slap him. It's too much family history there. I got his cousin tattooed on my own. You know what I'm saying? Mm, I, mm. I that's his family. Fucking, his grandparents. Well, 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 let's, his, let's sue this shit up. His, let's, his, let's, his, let's, his, yeah. Hold on. Go his, ahead. His, no, it ain't nothing to sell up. But I'm just telling Go you, ahead. I'm just keeping it a hundred. I wouldn't have fucking slapped him. I'm w I am wouldn't have slapped him. I wouldn't have slapped him. And not, it ain't got nothing to do with fear, this, that, and the third. I wouldn't have looked at Nero and raised my hand towards him. You understand mm. what I'm saying? I would have walked the fuck away. I would have been like, man, fuck out of here, man. Nigga, you acting crazy. And I would have walked away. Because that's me. I done had many times to put down many niggas around me that did shit to me that rubbed me the wrong way. I never did it, bro. I never did it. Never did it. Nobody can never say I stole from them. Nobody, none of my homies can ever say I robbed them. None of them can ever say I was fucking a bitch. None of them can ever say I was fucking a baby mom. None of them can ever say that I was bullying them. None of them can never say shit, bro. None Man. of them can never say that, bro. They can't say that. And I deal with everybody, especially in my neighborhood, from the biggest nigga to the smallest nigga. I deal with everybody with love, bro. Right. With love. You feel what I'm saying? All this shit, niggas playing with my name, back and forth, this, that, and the third. Nero, texting, I'm texting niggas. He's texting me one thing, going back and forth with me in the DM one thing, but he texting all the other homies another thing, this, that, and the third. He ain't standing on his word, and I got that proof. So the moment he come out and say, no, Shady, you a rat, well, I, I confronted you, and I gave you a chance to tell me you I was a rat, and you felt like I was a rat. Proof. So he can't go on the DM and delete nothing. I definitely got that proof. Because that's what you need with these niggas. You need fucking proof, bro. It's bad. Mm -hmm. You need proof, bro. You feel what I'm that's saying? It. So, that's you know, I get it. I, I get it. Look, I, I truly do get it, man. I do. And he said I sound hurt. You know what, dog? I do be hurt sometimes thinking about them niggas. 
I definitely ain't heard about nobody I ain't got no love for. If something happened to Nero the day of tomorrow, that shit would affect me. Mm. Oh, that shit would, it mm. would affect me. So, and, and that's when even with everything going on, you feel what I'm saying? That shit would definitely affect me. These niggas roll around and they don't know what true love is. You feel what I'm mm. saying? They don't know mm. what the fuck true love is. And that's a fact, bro. They can look at each other and walk away from each other and hate on each other. I never was talking behind my man Jigabek. I never even thought to talk behind Jigabek or to talk behind Danger Back or to talk behind this nigga back or talk behind that nigga back. I talked to that nigga. Talk. You feel what I'm saying? These niggas grew up in the era where they go texting each other, back doing conversations, and they'll never bring it to you, bro. Right. Right. And this is why I fell out of love with this shit, bro. This is why I fell out of love with this shit. The same emotions and shit that a nigga like me got is the same emotions that keep me loyal, you, bro. Mm -hmm. The same emotions that a nigga like me got is the same emotions that keep me from blowing your fucking head off, from letting somebody blow your head off. He talking all that shit. He talking all that shit, but he'll tell you. He'll also tell you. When it came down to one of my homies wanting to do something to him, my, it's my childhood friend. I stood with Nero. Mm. Mm. You, you feel what I'm saying? I, I stood mm. with Nero, bro. Mm. I stood with Nero. It's a fact. And that caused a splinter between me and dude. You feel what mm. I'm saying? Mm. And, 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 and you look up and you look up and you like, damn, it is what it is with him. It is what it is with him. Do I want to patch something up? No, I don't need to, bro. Because once that shit go the way it go, it is what it is. That don't mean niggas don't, ain't supposed to feel no type of way about it. You feel what I'm saying? For sure. For sure. But it man. is what it is, man. I'm working. I'm doing what I need to do. Ain't none of my raps about Nero. Ain't none of my raps about these other niggas. Ain't none of, I ain't taking no shots at nobody. You feel what I'm saying? I'm in a good space. I'm in a great space. The only thing that even tilted me a little bit is niggas playing with my name. But that I even let that go. The thing that tilted me a little more is motherfuckers coming back and running back and saying it's Nero. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So that kind of tilted me a little more. And then, you know, when he get confronted, he don't stand on it. You know what I mean? Mm. But it is what it is, you know. And, and and at the end of the day, man, niggas just got to do them, bro. You know what I mean? I respect Nero grind. Respect what Nero got going on. I wish him the best. He the best thing that came out of his family thus far. Ain't a, ain't a more successful person that came out of his family than Nero right now. And how the fuck can you look down on that, bro? Talk. Talk. How you can look down on that, bro? As of right now, I don't know what tomorrow may bring, but as of right now, from Nero family that I know, I don't know his dad's side, but from his mom's side that I know, Nero the most successful thing that came out of his family. So I ain't trying to take nothing from Shorty, bro. For sure. For sure, I'm trying bro. to take nothing from Shorty. They be trying to take shit from me. You know what I mean? Because of because of you feel like you're the most hated in Philly. Yeah, I'm definitely the most hated nigga in Philly, bro. I'm definitely why? the most hated nigga in Philly. Hmm. I said I said why 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 you think that's the why you think that's the reason? Sure. Uh, because I shattered the air image of they superheroes. When you when you look up, I'm a nigga, and this this is facts, man. And I ain't I ain't trying to stir no pots or nothing like that. But I'm just when you look up. I punched a nigga from Dream Chasers when niggas from Dream Chasers wasn't getting punched on. You feel what I'm saying? I punched mm -hmm. a nigga. Ain't nothing happened to me. When you look up, I went at Chris and them. I shared, that was more people here, Rose. Niggas don't like that. I went at them with the truth. I went at them with my truth. More people, people ain't like that. They, they, ain't, they ain't like that. So now I got that. Then you look up, when I fell out with Adam and them, I went at them with the truth. They ain't like that. So many people grew up off these people, man. You understand mm. what I'm saying? Mm. So many mm. people grew up off these people, bro. And it's like, you look up and it's like, you know, don't nobody really want to help me. And I caused a lot of shit like that. I caused a lot of that. That's why I ain't trying to go back down that road no more. You feel what I'm saying? For sure. I ain't trying to go back down. I ain't trying to go back down that road, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, one nigga got a one nigga got 10 friends. I had 100 niggas against me. That's a thousand motherfuckers against me, bro. For sure, man. A thousand motherfuckers against you in the city, you ain't gonna win, bro. Fuck, man. You got a thousand motherfuckers with you, you're against you. Now, man, Quill ain't the most motherfucking hated in the city. Six Quill's a walking meme. You feel what I'm saying? 
Quill, Quill is the bid. Niggas don't hate Quill. Niggas really want to see Quill win. Niggas sure. really want to see me dead, bro. There's a big difference. Mm. You know what I mean? That's, that's a difference. That's definitely I difference. definitely got love out South Philly. And this, and like I said, bro, this ain't trying to rehash no shit. I'm just giving you the facts. Because I ain't got no problem with me. I, me and Tok talk. Me and Tok used to talk. You know what I mean? After all that shit, like, I respect his brain. I respect the way he moved. He told me some shit, man. And I promised myself that I would never really do nothing like that again. He said, Shady, we had a problem with you, not because of what you did, but because you was fucking threatening our brand. Shady, Shady, you know how many how many nights I missed with my kids trying to build this brand, and you come out of nowhere trying to fucking break something, nigga. We're going to destroy you. Damn. That's We're going to destroy you, Shady. You feel what I'm saying? Fuck you mean. You know what I mean? So, and I got major love for 31st and Tasker. I got major, I got major love down South Philly, period. You feel and I got major love for SMS. Niggas know I was up there on them corners with him. Shout out D Hane, shout out Wink, shout out BZ. I was all around this motherfucker. Free hollow. City. Free, hollow and, sure. free hollow. And I was in a struggle with niggas. Like, I was in a struggle with niggas, bro. I was in a struggle with niggas, bro. You know what I mean? So it just it, it just is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man. But uh you bet, you bet. listen, bro. Back to the music type shit, man. For uh, sure. You know we support you. You know we support you know we supporting you over here. Fully yeah. free. Man, another thing I want you to elaborate on, on 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 uh you know when you was going through with certain niggas and you know going with going through it with the whole city and shit, like a lot of motherfuckers fuck with you but didn't make it didn't make it known that they fuck with you and shit like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, was, like was, a lot right. of people undercover undercover fucking with you and shit. Speak on that. I understood I under I I understand that now from a different perspective. Niggas still had to be in Philly, bro, at the end of the day, bro. I ain't have to be in Philly. Niggas, mm. niggas, niggas still had to be in Philly, bro. So I understand that, bro. Niggas still had to be in Philly. So when niggas... I ain't never want nobody to die for me, so I can't be I can't be upset that... You feel what I'm saying? Like, right. that niggas ain't just poke their chest out, this, that, and the third. Niggas still had to be in Philly, bro. I ain't understand that before, but I understand that more than ever now. I don't want nobody that I love taking nothing for me when I ain't around, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So it was like, niggas, niggas fuck with me. There's a couple niggas from OBH that still fuck with me. Would I ever say their names? No. It ain't no point, bro. It ain't, mm. no point. it ain't no point in doing nothing like that, bro. It ain't no point. You know what I mean? Back then, I would have screamed that shit out. You know what I mean? I was like, no, nigga, speak, nigga. Don't be fucking with me and fucking with them. It's like now, dog, I'm grown. It's like, I just take out of them, bro. You feel what I'm saying? But niggas, 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 like, I was fucking with niggas. Niggas that was fucking with me was like Mike Larry, my man DZ. DZ is the type of motherfuckers that was Oskino. Oskino fucked with me, irregardless of what, how anybody felt about me. Mm. You mm. feel what I'm saying? Street niggas was fucking with me. Me and Reezy had a couple differences, but the differences was just about how shit was going. It wasn't no personal shit like I did something to disrespect him or he did something to disrespect me. We just had a real different outlook on the way shit was going. Right, right. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But I, I was on, I was, I was on some other shit, bro. I wasn't, you know what I mean? LP always fuck with me for sure through my YouTube comments. Dude, just his platform, the nigga always big me up, man. You feel what I'm saying? And that's a fact. And I said, fuck with LP to this day. Certain, so certain niggas, certain niggas did fuck with me through certain shit, you know what I mean? And they wasn't playing both sides of the field. Like, my nigga Mont, Mont wasn't playing both sides of the field or nothing. He really loved me. He was just like, Shady, nigga still got to be in Philly, though, bro. That's a fact. You know what I mean? That's a fact. That's a fact. Niggas, niggas still got to be in Philly. You know what I mean? And the way you carry and shit ain't right. I had to get, I had to hear that from niggas. You think I like somebody telling me I'm fucking wrong? Mm. You feel what I'm mm. saying? Niggas had mm. to tell me I was wrong, bro. On a, on a lot of different, on a lot of different occasions. Nigga, you wrong. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it just is. It just is what it is, man. It is. It is what it is, man. Uh, go ahead, man. I want your food to get cold, man. You go ahead, man. You gonna man, it's always the oven out there. It's always a stove top. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I fuck with niggas right now. We putting something together. I don't like to speak on it too much. I just want that shit to happen because I don't want nobody to block my plays for real, for real, or try mm-hmm. to block my plays. 
So right now we 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 doing something this that and the third man. We got something going on. Shout out to I'm I'm, I'm a shout out. I'm a shout out some niggas that was that was, that was like when I was growing up. I'm gonna I'm go down South Philly. Lil Muttley was doing his thing. Fucking uh, <clears throat> you forget about Muttley, right? <laughs> mm. You don't know who Muttley is. Who me? Yeah. Mm -mm. Muttley was doing yeah. his thing. He was with March Madness. Uh. Mm. Uh. Fucking oh, Cree. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, yeah, okay, yeah, I know, yeah, back then, yeah, Cree, uh, Cree Forge, uh, mm -hmm. Dexter Dill, Frankie with the Grippers, Superstar Yay, K Dot, uh, mm. these is motherfucking outside. I'm talking about outside of Seagull, these is mm. like motherfucking niggas down South Philly that was that been holding it down. Uh, our West Philly, you got LP, you had Santos, my man, Hot Diddy. Uh, who was from this that I was bumping shoulders with at one point in the time? Uh, Shelliano, shout out to Shelliano, Cujo, uh, motherfuckers like that. Southwest, I ain't really, really bumped too many shoulders with niggas from Southwest. Like you rapped in front of Jay Z at a video shoot in Brooklyn. Huh? You rapped in front of Jay Z at a video. Now, shoot I ain't just rapping in front of Jay Z. Me and LP battled in front of Jay Z. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. funny about that. I got tapped LP in on that shit. Damn. Uh, I said, I, I got tapped LP in on that. Damn, that's, yeah. that's heavy. Talk, we got to yeah. talk about that. Yeah, we bad. what happened was, man, we was in the trailers and whatnot. <clears throat> we sparking up. Everybody sparking up. It's backwards. This all the way back then. It's got to be like <clears throat> 2002. Backwards, sparking up, shit like that. We young niggas. Uh, bro came in. Uh, LP came. Hey man, I don't know. Like it, he he was going at everybody, and LP remember it different than me. What I remember is none of them wanted the battle. Mm. Like he called all of them out, and and how I grew up is, nigga, you got to answer that battle. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. at the time when they were screaming, Chris was sixteen. I really was sixteen. Chris wasn't sixteen. He was like nineteen, going on twenty. But mm. I really was I really was 16 and shit. And uh <clears throat> man, I I think I tapped Seagull. I'm like, I battle him. He was like, go ahead, young. And I battled a grown ass LP, bro. <laughs> the nigga, like you feel what I'm saying? I can remember what the nigga had on. The nigga had a fucking jeans outfit on. He had the airbrush LP, he had his block on the back, this, that, and the third. I remember that shit like it was yesterday, bro. I was cold as shit. We was out on the docks, on the, like in the Bronx somewhere. I was cold as shit. Uh, and we battled, bro. All I remember was uh, really like, man, you better not run out of raps. Mm. So I ain't even like, I never really carried that as a win or a loss. I, I know I battled LP. And LP did I, you the fuck in, nigga. You think he did? No, LP man. LP did this. you the fuck in. Uh, that's what you might say, but what I'm, what I'm, what I'm saying is, uh, what I'm saying is, back then, bro, I had some shit. You get, you mm. get what I'm saying? And LP was flames. He was flaming. You get what I'm saying? It mm. was just like, it was like, bro, I can't really tell you who won. You got to tap LP in for that. I'll let I got to I, I tap LP in, man. Yeah, I, I, will, I, will, I will tell you this, bro. I will tell you this. We was really, we was really going back and forth. And afterwards, after we stopped, right, he grabbed me, shook my hand, gave me a hug, and that established me and motherfucking LP relationship. Because I was in war mode. I thought mm. after that we was supposed to have a problem with each other. Mm. Mm. And he grabbed me and he embraced me, and that shit connected me and motherfucking LP. But I'll Yo, let you tap LP in. That's man. a crazy. That's a crazy joint. I'm gonna tap LP in. All right, bro. Go ahead. 